Now you, I wasn't expecting. I thought I smelled uneven leather. <laughs> Isabella! If it isn't my favorite pirate wench. <laughs> Shouldn't you be dead by now? I could say the same, my dear. It seems we were both fortunate to find powerful friends, no? Tell me, is this one as adventurous as our dear warden? We could always ask. Ah, I do love an audience. But perhaps there are other matters to attend to first. Prude. How do you do? My name is Zevran Aranai. Adventurer and occasional assassin. I've heard about you. You helped the hero of Ferelden stop the blight. At your service, my friend. I must admit, I was waiting for an assault by the crows, not the mighty champion of Kirkwall. How do you know I'm a champion? Slayer of Canari, Deep Roads Explorer, and a beauty to make the gods jealous. You underestimate your fame. How do you two know each other? How does anyone know Isabella? Yes, well, you'll never know Isabella again if you keep that up. I'll assume you're not talking about birds. Oh, please, do not tell me you know nothing of the Antivan Crows. We are the finest guild of assassins, an object of fear throughout the lands for any man with wealthy enemies. <laughs> or, I should say, they are. I am no longer a crow, a fact they find unacceptable. There must be more to it than you leaving the guild. That is offense enough to the crows, believe me. I may have also killed the last four assassins they sent after me, and uh, other men. Oh, and the guildmaster. In fact, if you were a crow, you might make a fortune bringing me in. <laughs> you should consider a career change. <laughs> no, really. I thought he would be taller. Ah, let me guess. A man named Nuncio has asked you to capture a dangerous killer, yes? What did he say this time? That I killed his wife, butchered his parents, sold his children into slavery? Or did he tell you he was a lawman from Antiva, charged with apprehending a ridiculously handsome fugitive? He didn't mention how handsome. Ah, so you've noticed. I credit my high cheekbones and pouty lips. Bring me to Nuncio if you wish, but I warn you, he surely intends to kill you. The crows do not like loose ends, unlike myself. But you are a woman who can clearly handle herself, yes? Hmm? Why worry? So, you can either tie me up, gag me, and then manhandle me. Or you can take me to Nuncio. Which will it be, I wonder? You're very compliant for a fugitive. Compliant, yes, and very bendy. But truthfully, I know when I am outmatched. I would rather take my chances against the crows. You know him best. What do you think? I've had better. I meant about letting him go or not. Oh, right. I'd let him go. I like your list of options. But does it have to be in that order? I knew you couldn't resist my obvious charms. It's, it's the accent, isn't it? I'm not going to hand you over to someone who lied to me. As a suggestion, you might wish to deal with Nuncio. If you don't, he will only come after you. It's been more than a pleasure, my dear champion. Fare you well. Say let your assassin go. Was I not supposed to do that? You had him? And you let him go? I am thoroughly disappointed. No one fails the crows and lives. Ah, poor stupid Nuncio. The crows do like that saying, but I am living proof it's a lie. <sighs> Why they insist on thinking they can kill people like you and the Warden, <laughs> I will never guess. Let me tell you, it's a burden I bear on a daily basis. You are nothing but a traitor and a coward, Zevron. You'll die here. Yes, well, let's see how that works out for you. Excellent. Killing my former brothers in arms is oddly satisfying. 
I've little reward to offer you, champion, but perhaps this will serve as a token of my thanks. My dear Isabella, it has been a delight to see you again. You travel in fine company. That's it? You're leaving? What about sex? <laughs> Still blunt as a dwarven hammer, huh? Well, why not? Um, hello. I'm standing right here. What? You can come too. Indeed. The more the merrier. Let's find someplace quieter. Ha! <laughs> that girl has curious standards. <laughs>